Miles told me that you've been dating a lot. Yeah, you know, I, uh, I have a girlfriend. You, you have a girlfriend? Oh my, I told you you were a chick magnet, or... Darcy Lynn was just 19 when she finally revealed the terrible truth about that dark day everyone had been whispering about. Most people know her as the talented ventriloquist who won America's Got Talent, but not many know the painful things she's been hiding. What really happened to Darcy that almost made her give up on everything? Tune in, because what she had to face was so painful that it changed her in ways nobody expected. Lessons Darcy learned from a true master. Gary Owen, known as the voice from Oklahoma, is not just any mentor. He's been in the business of entertainment for years, excelling not only in ventriloquism, but also as an all-around performer. His guidance was crucial for Darcy. He didn't just teach her the techniques of throwing her voice or managing her puppets. He taught her how to connect with every person watching her. This deep connection is what makes a performance stick in your mind, and Darcy learned this from the best. But what Gary Owen revealed to her behind the scenes is far more shocking than anyone could imagine. And soon we'll uncover the truth that changed everything for her career. The importance of having a mentor like Gary cannot be overstated. In many ways, the guidance he offered is similar to what other famous young artists have received from their mentors. Take, for example, Justin Bieber and Usher, or Billie Eilish and her brother Phineas O'Connell. These mentors provided not just lessons in music, but also support and guidance through the complexities of fame. They helped shape the careers of these young stars by teaching them how to handle the spotlight and connect with their audiences on a deeper level. After her big win on America's Got Talent, Darcy's career skyrocketed. She caught the attention of Simon Cowell, a judge on the show and a well-known music producer. Impressed by her unique talents, Simon signed her to his label, Psycho Music. This label is famous for launching the careers of several other young talents like the group Little Mix and the boy band One Direction. Joining Psycho Music opened many doors for Darcy. It meant she could work with top-level producers and songwriters, which allowed her to hone her craft even further. At Psycho Music, Darcy wasn't just another performer. She had the chance to explore different aspects of entertainment. Besides continuing her ventriloquism, she also ventured into singing and even got involved in creating television shows. This variety helped her grow as an artist and kept her engaged with her ever-expanding audience. Darcy's abilities go beyond her skill with puppets. Her singing, often showcased in her performances, has won her many admirers. One of her songs, Push Our Luck, highlights her capability to convey deep emotions through her music, resonating with listeners and adding another layer to her artistic persona. But Darcy's road to stardom wasn't without its obstacles. One of the biggest challenges she faced was a personal health crisis. Few knew that she had been fighting cancer. This battle was tough and tested her in ways beyond the stage. However, with her indomitable spirit and the support of her family and mentor, she faced this challenge head on. In July of 2020, she was declared cancer-free, a testament to her strength and resilience. This part of her life, her battle with cancer, adds a profound dimension to her public image. It shows she's not just a performer, but also a fighter. The resilience she demonstrated in her personal life reflects the passion and determination she brings to her performances on stage. It's a reminder that the people we admire for their talents often have personal battles they're fighting off the stage. Gary Owen's role in her life was more than just a coach or a teacher. His decades of experience in ventriloquism and his success in the entertainment industry provided Darcy with a foundation that few young artists have. As she continues to tour and perform, she proves time and again that the lessons she learned from him about performance, about resilience, and about connecting with people are deeply ingrained in her. As Darcy embarks on new projects and tours, she continues to captivate audiences nationwide. Every show, every song, and every performance is a reflection of the hard work and passion she has for her craft. The skills she mastered under her mentor's guidance and the personal challenges she overcame all contribute to her success and her ability to inspire others. For anyone watching Darcy perform, it's clear that her talent is immense. But knowing her background, understanding the guidance she received, and recognizing the personal obstacles she has overcome make her performances all the more impressive. It's a story of talent, yes, but also of perseverance, guidance, and personal courage. 
After getting important help, Darcy faced an even bigger challenge, one that tested her strength and courage beyond the stage. Cancer couldn't stop her. As Darcy Lynn continues her career, she not only entertains her audience, but also serves as an inspiration to young talents everywhere. Her story is a powerful reminder of the impact a great mentor can have and the strength required to overcome personal challenges. Next time you see her perform, remember there's a lot behind that young star on stage. A story of growth, learning, and triumph over adversity. During a particularly challenging time in her life, Darcy Lynn's battle with cancer was not kept hidden, although the specific type of cancer she faced was never publicly disclosed. Despite her personal struggles, Darcy decided to use her platform for a greater good. She aimed not only to increase awareness about the disease, but also to offer support to those affected by it. Darcy shared her own experiences openly, using her fame to spotlight the importance of understanding and addressing cancer. Her advocacy included a significant donation to the Toby Keith Foundation, an Oklahoma-based organization dedicated to supporting children with cancer. This donation was part of a larger effort that culminated in a major fundraising event. During the celebration of the 20th anniversary of the OK Kids Chorale, it was announced that all proceeds from the Toby Keith fundraiser would go directly to assist families dealing with childhood cancer. The event raised over $1 million through a silent auction, a clear demonstration of the community's willingness to contribute to this cause. Her involvement in such initiatives shows she is more than just an entertainer with exceptional skills in ventriloquism. She has become a powerful advocate for cancer awareness. By using her platform, she has made a significant impact on the lives of many, especially those struggling with cancer. Despite her fame from winning America's Got Talent, the real story is about the positive changes she continues to inspire. It's about her resilience and the generosity of her heart. Through her actions, she motivates many, proving that even in tough times, it's possible to make a meaningful difference. The story grows even more inspiring when you consider her range of talents. Besides her ventriloquism, she is passionate about dancing and excels in playing the ukulele and the piano. She started playing the piano at a very young age and enjoys making music and learning new songs. Playing the piano is one of her favorite ways to have fun and express herself. Dancing is another significant aspect of her life. She often incorporates dance into her performances, which helps her connect more deeply with her audience and adds an exciting element to her shows. This can be through a well-planned dance routine or simply by moving along with the music's beat. She has also expressed an interest in learning hip-hop dancing. Although she is recognized mainly for her ventriloquism, she is eager to explore and master new forms of dance. She is drawn to hip-hop because of its energetic movements and rhythms and is keen on broadening her skills to include a variety of dance styles. At only 12 years old, she has been the focus of attention throughout the summer. She is a singing ventriloquist from Deer Creek who has captured the hearts of people all over the United States. Her talent has caught the eye of many prominent figures in the entertainment industry, including Richard Goodall, known for his uplifting spirit, and Simon Cowell, one of the entertainment industry's most famous personalities. Their unexpected support helped turn a difficult period in her life into an outstanding display of how kindness and human connections can profoundly affect a person's path. I remember when I first understood the importance of this, it truly stuck with me. Success in life is a team effort, and it's crucial to recognize every person who plays a part in that team. For instance, when I enter a room, I immediately take in everything and everyone around me. From the person opening the door to others performing various tasks, everyone is significant. This realization hit home when a fan, despite their declining health, reached out to express their gratitude to Simon Cowell and their lifelong admiration for the entertainment industry. Darcy's tough fight wasn't easy, but the support she got helped her inspire others. And soon, something unexpected happened. A fan's final wish came true. Cowell's talent shows and his keen ability to spot and nurture new talent had been a source of inspiration for them throughout their life. Despite physical challenges, this fan found joy and comfort in watching Cowell's television shows. Programs like Britain's Got Talent and The X Factor had become a consistent source of happiness and inspiration in their life. 
An extraordinary event occurred when Simon Cowell learned about this fan's dreams and struggles. Moved by their story and despite his busy schedule filled with numerous responsibilities in the entertainment industry, Cowell chose to personally reach out. He offered not just comforting words, but also made a significant gesture by visiting the fan. This act of kindness showed the deep impact empathy and personal connection can have. It highlighted how influential people like Cowell can genuinely touch individual lives beyond the screen. This story not only underscores the importance of support and connection in overcoming life's challenges, but also demonstrates the broader role public figures can play in positively influencing others' lives. Her experience and the support she received illustrate how challenges can be met with courage and how public figures can leverage their influence for good. Her path of using her talents not only to entertain but to advocate for important causes like cancer awareness is a powerful reminder of the impact one person can have. It's a story that combines talent, compassion, and a commitment to making a difference, offering inspiration to us all. Simon Cowell, a big name in Hollywood, didn't meet the fan for fame or to get into the news. This visit showed a kinder side of him, different from his usual tough image. It was a heartfelt gesture that came from real sympathy. There was another important person there, Richard Goodall, who might not be known by many, but played a key role here. Goodall is loved for helping the community and bringing joy through his music. His commitment to caring made it a no-brainer for him to join Cowell for this special visit. When Cowell and Goodall teamed up, they created a strong duo that deeply touched not only the fan, but also their family. The visit itself turned into something amazing, full of emotions like excitement, joy, and deep thankfulness. The scene was set for a memorable encounter when Cowell and Goodall walked into the room. What was expected to be a quiet and somber farewell turned into a celebration of life and personal connections. The fan was surprised to see two iconic figures from the entertainment world standing before them, not just as celebrities, but as embodiments of passion, empathy, and human connection. This visit was unlike any other. Cowell, known for his harsh critiques on TV shows, showed a softer side during the visit. He sat next to the fan, listened to their stories about how his shows had brought joy into their life, and spoke words of comfort with genuine warmth. This moment showed a different Cowell, one who was there not as a TV personality, but as a compassionate human being, eager to make the fan's last moments as happy as possible. Meanwhile, Goodall brought his unique charm and musical talent to the room. He played soothing songs that filled the space with a calm and cheerful atmosphere, helping the fan find peace and comfort. His music, chosen with care for this occasion, was full of love and hope. For many, Goodall's music had always been a source of healing, and this time it was the perfect complement to a farewell filled with strong emotions. This wasn't just another celebrity visit, it was a profound display of kindness that went beyond the glamour of fame. It brought closure not only to the fan, but also comforted their family, transforming a room burdened with sadness into a place of laughter, lively chats, and music. The tears that were shed came not just from sadness, but also from a deep sense of gratitude and happiness for the memories shared. The fan, who had braced for a sad and lonely goodbye, now felt a sense of contentment and joy thanks to the visits from Cowell and Goodall. Their presence made a significant impact, offering a gift of true connection, a reminder that even in hard times, simple acts of kindness and compassion can bring light and warmth. The tale of their visit soon spread far and wide, touching the hearts of many and showcasing the positive impact celebrities can have when they use their platforms for good. As Simon Cowell's kind act touched more lives, a deeper story started to show how powerful kindness can be even away from the spotlight. Simon Cowell showed his softer side. This story also highlighted another side of Simon Cowell, showing that beneath his tough exterior lies a heart capable of great tenderness and sensitivity. Richard Goodall's efforts proved the power of music and human connection in providing solace to those in need. For the family of the fan, this visit was a cherished gift, comforting them during a difficult time. It ensured that the fan's final moments were filled with joy, laughter, and the company of caring people a powerful reminder of the beauty that human connections and simple acts of compassion can offer, making a real difference in the world. As the news of this heartwarming visit spread, it served as a potent reminder of the influence public figures can wield for good. 
It showed that even the most steadfast personalities like Simon Cowell can offer immense kindness and empathy, often hidden behind their public personas. Richard Goodall's contribution highlighted the comfort that music and genuine human engagement can bring to those facing tough times. This visit, treasured by the fans' family, brought comfort and a sense of peace during their challenging moments, filled with happiness, laughter, and the presence of those who genuinely cared about them. It stood as a testament to the enduring beauty found in human connections and the simple acts of compassion that can resonate deeply and meaningfully in people's lives. This story really touched a lot of people who saw something special in the kindness and caring that Simon Cowell and Richard Goodall showed. It reminded everyone that no matter how famous or rich we are, we all have the power to touch someone's life with simple acts of kindness. Cowell and Goodall didn't visit to get media attention. They were there to fulfill a dying fan's last wish and bring comfort during a tough time. What was supposed to be a sad goodbye turned into a celebration of life, love, and human connections because of their visit. It transformed a moment of sorrow into one of hope and happiness, leaving behind a legacy of compassion that people will remember for years. Darcy Lynn, the young ventriloquist who won hearts on America's Got Talent, quickly became a fan favorite because of her amazing talent and charming personality. But there's a bigger story behind her success that the show didn't cover. Darcy is where she is today because of her dedication, the obstacles she overcame, and some unexpected turns along the way. Her path is a powerful tale of perseverance, passion, and triumph beyond just bringing puppets to life. Good morning, everyone. I am Darcy Lynn. I was only 12 years old when I first stepped onto the stage of America's Got Talent, said she with tears in her eyes. This show was the launching pad for what seemed like a miraculous rise to stardom for Darcy. But what really sets her apart isn't just her talent, but the countless hours of hard work, focus, and enthusiasm she invested in her craft long before she became well known. Even as a child, Darcy was honing a unique skill that would one day put her at the forefront of the entertainment industry. But having a special talent wasn't the only thing that led to her success. It was also about the endless hours she spent perfecting her craft. Her ability to connect with audiences and her determination to stay true to herself are what make her stand out. Inspired by a performance that sparked a deep interest within her, Darcy discovered ventriloquism when she was just a kid. While many children might enjoy a performance and then move on, Darcy's curiosity drove her to explore this rare art form more deeply. What started as a simple interest quickly turned into a deep passion for her. She set her sights on mastering the challenging skill of throwing her voice and bringing her puppets to life. Was her confession the whole truth, or is there still more she's keeping from the public? Let us know your thoughts, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.